the Danny Part English Reading Show, I'm going to introduce you to the Oxford Reading Tree, the Big Breakfast. Do you like breakfast? I love breakfast because I love the rice and the water and any other side menu. And it's such a wonderful breakfast in my house. Do you like um, do you like breakfast at your house? Yeah. Pretty good, right? Your house meal is the best. Not in the whole wide world. I love the home meal. Mommy, mom and dad are always making food so delicious. So let's this book read this book together. They're making breakfast at the magical adventure. Let's read it. Oxford Reading Tree, the big breakfast. Ding 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 Dad came into Chip's room. He was ringing a bell. Chip sat up in bed. It's time to get up, said Dad. Mom's away and we have a lot of jobs to do. Dad rang the bell on the stairs. Time to get up, he called. Do we have to, asked Biff. It's the weekend. Yes, said Dad. Mom gets back tonight. The house is a mess. We must tidy up. I suppose so, yawned Chip. Good, I'll start breakfast, said Dad. The children came down for breakfast. Bad news, said Dad. The milk has gone off. I burned the toast and we've run out of juice. I'm sorry. Oh no, said Kipper, I'm hungry. We'll have to go to the supermarket, said Dad. We need some more food. I've got a better idea, said Chip. Let's have breakfast at the cafe. You can eat what you like, said Dad. Then we'll do the shopping. Hooray, said Kipper. I'm going to have a big breakfast. I like blueberry pancakes, said Biff. I want eggs, said Kipper. Why, why don't have a Kipper, Kipper? Asked Chip, why don't you have chips, Chip, said Kipper. At home, Dad told the children to start their jobs. I'll put the shopping away, he said. You go and tidy your rooms. That's a big breakfast should give you a lo lot of energy. The children look at the mess. Let's tidy up later, said Chip. I'm so full I can't move. No choice of a walk then said Floppy. Just then the magic key began to play. The magic took them back in time. It took them to a big house. It took them into a large hall with a big staircase. It's still dark outside, said Biff. Ding, ding, a barrel began to ring. Suddenly a door opened. A little girl came in. She was holding a candle. I am Rose. You must be the new servant. The housekeeper will see you now. Follow me, she said. Rose took them down a corridor into a large storeroom. The housekeeper was waiting for them. You all late, she said sternly. There are lots of jobs to be done. She gave the children a list of jobs. Begin with the cleaning, she said. It has to be done for breakfast. Ah, oh, I see you brought the dog. Good. Rose took them into a large kitchen. This is Mrs. Rice, said, said, said Rose. She's the cook. Hello, said Mrs. Fry. I see you have brought a dog. Good. Why is everyone pleased that we have brought a dog? 
asked Chip. Mrs. Fry pointed to a wooden wheel. Put your dog in here, she said. I may not like this, said Floppy. Rose put Floppy inside the wheel. The wheel turned the meat over the fire, said Rose. It stops the meat burning. You look like a giant hamster, laughed, laughed Kipper. Now we must hurry. There is so much to do, said Rose. Lord Plum will be up soon. We must finish, their, finish the jobs. Then we can get this breakfast ready. Mrs. Fry put the meat on the spit. We need this for Lord Plum's breakfast. She looked at Fluffy. Keep walking and don't stop, she said. Funny way to get a walk, said Fluffy. What else is for breakfast? asked Beth. Kippers, oyster bread, meat root, pancakes, ale, and ice cream. Nothing too fancy, said Rose. I'll get, I'll get it ready. You get on with the jobs on the list. Beef had to scrub the clothes to clean, clothes clean, and beat the roof. Then he had to make some bread and put powder on some wigs. Chip had to clean all the fireplaces. Then she had to collect a lot of coal. Then he had to polish the silver and polish all the boots. Kipper turned the milk to make butter. He got ice cream from the ice house. He had to hurry water to the bathrooms and scrub all the floors. Come quickly, said Rose. The food is ready. We must take it to the dining room. Hurry up and don't forget Lord Plum's newspaper, said Mrs. Fry. The trader put out the dishes on the big table. Hurry up, called the housekeeper. Lord Plum will be down soon. He won't want to see you in here. At breakfast, everything was finished. Has Lord Plum happy with his breakfast? asked the keeper. No, said the housekeeper. You forgot to iron his newspaper. I am worn out, said Keeper. I never want another walk, said Floppy. At least we can have a rest now, said Chip. A rest, said Rose. We have to start getting ready for lunch. Suddenly the magic key began to glow. It was time to go home. What a relief, said Biff. That was hard work, said Biff. Dad came into Biff's room. Hurry up, he said. We've still got a lot of jobs to do. Then, then we have to walk Fluffy. Oh no, said everyone. Early next morning, the children made Mom a surprise breakfast. What a big breakfast, said Mom. You have gone to so much trouble. It was nothing, said Beth. The end. Oh, uh, you know why? Hmm. I will show you something strange. This girl, Rose, said, keep her oyster bread, beet loaf, pancakes, ale, and ice cream. She said, nothing too fancy, but this is fancy for the most people. But to a kingdom kingdom this is not fancy do you get it now kingdom use lots of fancy and much food to make food and our most of the people just use just normal food it's so different in kingdom and regular people and we have to know this lord kingdom breakfast is fancy to ours but not the lord uh, kingdom's breakfast okay 
and thank you for reading this book with me and uh if you put a good sign on my video i will read um whatever books do you like just send send me a postcard and everything will be perfection thank you for reading with me bye bye